an update on the all hone sharpening device. So uh, we got some diamond film recently from America. It wasn't that easy to get hold of. It's rather expensive. But it lasts longer than the um, ordinary silicon carbide um, tapes. Now this tape here is not one that is supplied. It's just the tail end of a sheet. When you, when you cut them off, invariably you don't have one at the end that's nice and even. So uh, we don't supply these ones. I just use them myself. Okay, so uh, install the uh, diamond film one on the nearest slot. And the one for the silicon carbide is um, installed on this outside block. Uh, uh, slot on the, on the block. And then just fold over one end, the other end here. Find your rubber ring. And pinch like this. And pull backwards and forwards there, and then give it a tug so it's nice and tight. And cautiously roll it into place so it doesn't slip over the end. Give it a pinch there. Now it's nice and tight. Okay, so uh, these two I'd already checked, uh, they're already sharp, so I already can't illustrate on that one. Um, this guy here is hopelessly sh blunt, so I'll see how long it takes to sharpen. So this is 2500 grit I've got on there now, so it's not a real foul job that I'm doing on it. You can see that black there on the blade, that's the steel coming off. Just uh, have a quick check. It's starting to grip. We'll just do one more. Use plenty of water because it uh, stops the sandpaper from um, clogging. Now you want to end up with a nice sort of polished sort of a surface. See all the black coming off. So it's doing the job. And now we'll just switch over to the diamond. Starting to polish up, you can, I can see it anyway. So I'm only going one direction. Like a, uh, like a strop. Well, it's just starting to remove here, there. I'm not really um, using that much pressure. I find that uh, milder steels like these are often harder to sharpen on a ordinary stone because um, the edge tends to roll over compared to you know a harder steel like a manly tool steel. It tends to stand up more when you're yep shaving now so.
sort of both ends of the blade, so it is sharp. Um, yeah, so uh, what uh, happens with the, the harder steels is, is when you're sharpening on a sort of ordinary honing stone, it forces the edge over, you know, and it, you end up with the, the micro feather or the feathered edge as they call it. And uh, then you've basically gone too far, really. It's always best to test as you're going along and then stop rather than creating a feathered edge. It's just extra work. And uh, that's it. it. Performs well. It, it's a lot easier to sharpen with a, uh, a harder steel than it is with a milder steel, that, in my opinion, anyway. Um, you know, both these are, are sharp blades uh, that I've been using in the field. This is one I used the other day on the deer. And uh, but as you can see, it's once you get to the hair removing stage, that's, that's sharp enough.